Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 6 from exercise 4.2, chapter 4 circles. In my previous videos, I have completed the introduction theorem 4.1 and 4.2 and exercise 4.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. And also do watch the other important chapters such as arithmetic progression, triangles, pair of linear equation, quadratic equations, coordinate geometry and chapter trigonometry the link for all this is provided in the description box below and also watch the video till the end and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and like the video now quickly let us begin with the video question number six from exercise 4.2 chapter 4 circle says the length of a tangent from a point a at distance 5 centimeter from the center of the circle is 4 centimeter find the radius of the circle so here they have given us the length of tangent as 4 centimeters which is drawn from the circle and the distance between the tangent and the center is 5 centimeters so let us first draw the figure according to the question given so this is a circle with center o so let us draw a tangent to a circle from a point a length of this tangent is given as 4 centimeter the distance from the center of the circle to the point a is given as 5 centimeter okay and now they are asking us to find out the radii of the circle okay so the radii can be drawn from the center of the circle to any point but since we have a tangent here so let us draw the radii from the center of the circle to the tangent so this is the radii of the circle and let us name this point as b which is the point of contact between the tangent and the circle so we have to find out radii here knowing the distance ao and ab also from theorem 4.1 we know that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radii of the circle so here this radii is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact here you can observe that we obtain a right angle triangle so AOB forms a right angle triangle so since it is a right angle triangle we know the two sides of a triangle we can find out the third side by simply applying the Pythagoras theorem so let us write down the solution so let us first write down what is given in the question let the circle with center O and AB is tangent from point A therefore AB is given here as 4 centimeters and what is AO the distance between the center of the circle to the point A that is AO is given as 5 centimeters so we have to find out the radii that is OB okay now let us apply here the theorem 4.1 so that AOB forms a right angle triangle. So you can write down since AB is a tangent at point B. So therefore OB will be perpendicular to AB by theorem 4.1 okay so here you can write the whole statement of the theorem it says tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radii through the point of contact to obtain full marks please write down the statement of the theorem 4.1 so if ob is perpendicular to ab then this angle oba will be 90 degree angle oba is equal to 90 degree angle so therefore triangle aob is a right angle triangle is a right angled triangle so since it is a right angle triangle now we can apply the pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to the perpendicular square plus the base square so here since we have a right angle at oba so side opposite this right angle will be our hypotenuse side along will be the base and ob will be our perpendicular so hypotenuse here we know that is phi square so phi square is equal to perpendicular we have to find out which is the radius that is ob square plus base is 4 square okay so phi square is 25 sending this 4 square to left hand side we get 4 square is 16 equal to ob square so 25 minus 16 is 9 equal to ob square or the side ob is equal to square root of 9 which is equal to 3 centimeter so this radius ob is equal to 3 centimeter so therefore you can write down radius of the circle is 3 centimeter 
right so this is how we solve this question it is very easy you have to just apply theorem 4.1 and the Pythagoras theorem to find out the radii of the circle in my next video I'll be solving question number 7 from the same exercise if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section like my video and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more such videos for you guys and also watch the related videos of chapter 4 circles shown on the screen thank you